Hey guys, welcome to uh, another series thing that I'm gonna start doing, which is Game Developer Tycoon and stuff. Uh, sorry if you can hear uh, like a little screech sound or whatever. Let me move my mic. Uh, well, uh, there there might be some screeching sounds. I hope hopefully I'll be able to take it out. I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, but but yeah, I wanted to start this uh, this series where I make a company and stuff obviously so let's just right jump right into it and see how it goes all right so welcome to game dev tycoon in this business simulation you have been transported back in time to start your your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution in the next 30 years you can build your dream company create create best-selling games gain fans and become leader of the market before you can start your adventure, you you have to give your upcoming company a name. All right, let's so let's just go with uh, my username on YouTube, but abbreviated for identity games. Hopefully, I got it right. My player name is gonna be Andrew. Uh, I'm not gonna give you guys my my name. All right, so uh, let's, well, let's go with that and green since it's my favorite color. Let's go for 35 years. And I did play a little bit of it, or actually I, I did play a bit, not a bit, uh, more than a bit, but yeah. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get right into it and stuff, uh, develop a game. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. Give your yeah a name. You can also select which graphic te technology your game should use. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. All right, so let's uh, let's go with uh, uh, let's go with a medieval. Um, Mm, action platform on the G64. Uh, what should I name it? Uh, medieval War Cats. War Cats. All right, that's gonna be a hit. Or not, uh, let's make it a 2D graphics because we are cool. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of games of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. All right, think about what are areas, what areas are important. For your game and this and decrease the focus on your areas that you think are less important if you want to read the brief description of the different areas please refer to the help menu all right so that's a medieval so we have to have good gameplays and actions so we can turn it down a bit the quests and stuff so it doesn't really matter the engine can go up it's gonna be the greatest game of all time game development has now started really <clears throat> while developing your game you will generate game points which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. There the more points you generate the better game you the, game, the better game will be. Yeah. From time to time there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bug needs to be fixed before a game can be released and increase development time and cost. All right, so I'm getting quite a good design over here. Research is doing good. All right, so dialogues, it's an action game, doesn't need that good. Artificial intelligence can go up and level design can go up. Uh, 32K, I don't wanna go in the hole that fast. 
during development you can also select additional features for your games right now you can only pick basic sounds but, up, but your options will increase quickly selecting additional features makes the game generally better but also increases the cost you will also see the graphic type you will with the labs you will also see the graphic type when you selected when you define the game this is just to remind to remind you of your choice you cannot change the type of graphics mid game all right world design is an action game doesn't have can go up graphics can go up but early on in the game industry sound doesn't need to be that important all right three bugs that's not good uh, I hope it's not good the development of your first game is now complete, you can now press finish, the finish button to publish your game, but you should try once you fix your yeah, bugs, alright. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your rating, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash you can afford to wait, alright. Alright, so what I did on my other playthrough or whatever, I didn't recorder obviously because I was just testing like how I just wanted to play it they won't really want to record it at the moment um, I uh, started posting like a picture of a Facebook and Facebook or whatever and then people were like my friends on Facebook were asking me uh, to make games of them and stuff like that so if you guys would like to ask for a game or whatever like specially made for you guys make sure to comment if you guys you know yeah oh bug come on but yeah I'm a 3k, this better be good. Alright, the development of your game is now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve skills. When you when development is complete, you will be presented with a summary and experience gained. Alright. New combo, new topic, great combo, sweet. Release game. Ooh, good judgment. Create a game with a theme slash combination. Your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming up. Yep, you finish your first game while you develop the game. You also gain research points. You can use the research points to unlock new options for future games to bring up the research menu close to this message and you click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. And uh, while I was reading that, by the way, I was about to yawn, but I cancel it because I'm boss. Alright, uh, the first reviews for the newly released game, Medieval Cat War Cats Camp. Oh! A 7 Medieval in Action is a great combination by Star Games. Quirky by Good. Quirky? Quirky? Whatever. 6-6 six, six shows potential. They should forget it. They shouldn't forget it. Uh, ah. <laughs> Screw you. SFI Games, a newcomer in game industry. It's just released the first game, Medieval War Cats. The game received. Favorable reviews with such good start SFI games are sure to gain fans quickly. All right, making money. Research. Research is important to unlock new options, and make better games. You try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games and try to develop games with different topics and genre genre combinations for a slight research boost. Uh. I don't get that. Um, yeah, I don't want to research anything right now. Let's just make another game and then I'll research. Topic, let's go military action. You guys know what I'm making. Duty calls. White ops. Let's do this. Uh... Sweet. I was almost in the hall at one point, I'm guessing. Oh, I'm at $784. Wow, I'm not even at 1000 yet. Now you're getting a sale of week. And I didn't read that. Medieval Guys was so successful that we now have 25 fans. Jesus, man. 25! Alright, like I said before, that doesn't really matter too much. The story and quests, because it's Call of Duty, right? Yeah? <laughs> Yeah, uh, tank. Whoa, I sold 10k units. Alright, uh, dialogues. Uh, let's turn all this up. And dialogues can suffer a bit since it's not that important. It's not like we have great audio either way. 
But I guess chat bubbles and stuff like that can pop up. Uh, let's get a little bit more sound since they got mad at me before. Graphics can go up and world design can go up a little. Seven, eight, ten bugs? What? This is horrible. Nice. Nice. Come on, any more straight points and stuff like that? For design or technology? 100. <laughs> it's now off the market. It sold 15,000. Alright. Guess not. Alright, let's let's uh, let's uh see how my Call of Duty game came to be. It's a great combo. It's good. Recent studies... Recent market said market market studies suggest that the governor G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price grade available and the flexible hardware configuration over the home computers. Experts say that must sell the end of computer manufacturers. Game reviews. Come on. Don't disappoint. Oh. Okay. It's amazing. It's Call of Duty. Military action is great. If it's a great combination, give me a good score. Waste of money. All right, I'm going bankrupt. 